You know, on my journey to find, uh, you know, the perfect headphone for myself, uh, I found myself in a situation like a few weeks ago where I told myself, well, there are some amazing close back headphones and there's some really good ones like the Pure Dynamic DT 900 Pro Axe, which is well known to be amazing for games, very recommended. And so does the Odyssey Maxwell. The Odyssey Maxwell also uh, is rated the first number one in the best gaming headset on ratings.com. PC Gamer, for example, rated the 900 Pro Axe as the best audio file headset for gaming. Now, this is especially disturbing in quotation because you see that the price are very, very similar for these amazing headphones. The prices here are as of the time of making this video on Amazon.com. Now, of course, when you get into that situation, and I got, you know, this is the moment that I told myself, really, do you really need the open back? Do you, you until now, you just always had closed back and, you know, open back have so many advantages. Like, for example, uh, there is some leakage, as you can see, uh, with open back because, well, they're open back. If uh, sound oscillation is poor, but I'm playing in a, you know, very quiet environment, so it's not an issue for me. In terms of sound quality, I know that open back are known for natural and spacious sound stage, which is very important. One of the reasons I actually wanted to get an open back compared to closed back because with my closed back, I always felt that, you know, the, the sound is kind of in my head, mo mostly very tight, very close, very metallic. It feels like I'm kind of uh, listening to something in a box. Now, I did like the bass and this was important for me because I really enjoy, you know, very good bass when I play games like Battlefield and some actions game. It really kind of uh, really give the, some, some of the sound effects really nice punch, especially because I enjoy playing lots of action games. Now, when it comes to imaging and detail, of course, when you have uh, headphones that uh, provide you with large soundstage, well, things can be positioned sometimes really accurate above you compared to, for example, if the soundstage is small, even if the direction is correct, uh, you know, but the vertical direction won't be accurate because the soundstage is pretty small. So this was important for me as well. Although I'm not competitive FPS player, this is not really the, my highest priority. But, uh, you know, in many games, it's really just give you a more immersive experience because you feel like more in the game. Now, of course, there's a big difference. One is, of course, wireless and work with Bluetooth. Uh, the Odyssey Maxwell, the other one is wired. However, the Odyssey Maxwell uses planar magnetic. By the way, it's the same technology that the new uh, Sony um, headset uses. Uh, these are known for faster response and lower distortion. Both of them have low impedance, so we can easily drive them, so this wasn't an issue. I didn't care about mic because I'm using an external one. Uh, the Audi Z was actually heavier. I didn't see it as an issue, but at the end of the day, it came to the, the sound. I wanted to hear something different compared to what I'm already hearing. One thing that worried me be some people say because of the open design, if we cover the speaker is more exposed. Uh, if you're in a moisture environment, it can actually uh, cause issues with the speaker compared to a closed one. But again, it's not a problem for me, just read about it. So everything was kind of a, well, why even go with the Maxwell? But it's also not just moisture, it can be dust, you know, and debris in general, that because it's exposed, it might be more uh, fragile in that aspect. But again, I don't plan to go outside, although again, dust can get in, of course, and uh, I'm worried about it to some degree. But to be honest, this is the thing that will prevent me from actually enjoying high quality audio. The thing that I really want to enjoy because I need open back. No. Now, with the same breath, because they're open, they are more airy, right? So again, you won't sweat, you won't feel heat compared to if you're using closed headset. There are some advantages for that as well, especially if you are playing for long gameplay sessions. So I told myself, well, why are we actually, what are you actually giving up on? And so the first thing was bass, again, we, compared to closed headset and open headset. But again, although the 900 Pro X is more prominent bass compared to other type of headphones, uh, open back, uh, it can be therefore very good for gaming as well. I told myself, okay, I mean, this is something that I know I'm going to give up on to some degree, fine. But again, I'm something in the middle. I'm not a base head. I really want it strong, but probably haven't played Battlefield for quite a long time. So maybe when I come back, I'm probably going to miss it a bit more. Next is sound isolation. I was worried about that because my laptop computer does, you know, some loud noise, especially in gaming. I was worried about that. Other than that, everything is quiet. And it, the thing is that when I'm using my Actix 5, I actually 
Uh, it's not really tight on my hand, so I can actually hear my laptop as well. Uh, quite similar, I mean a bit less than if I do without it. So it's not like I have um, I had uh, headphones that completely block sound. So I'm kind of used to it and it wasn't really that bad. So I told myself, well, it won't be that bad either if I'm going to have open back headphones in that aspect. So I, I told myself, all right, fine, I can live with that. Now, I really wanted wireless headphones. So I told myself, well, if it's not a biggie. I hate cables, by the way, I hate cables. But again, not a big thing. I can move on with that. The other thing small is sound stage. Samsung sees as advantage, by the way, because you know, the sound is close to them. They want to hear things carefully and precisely. But for me, again, this is something that uh, is becoming disadvantage. I really want to experience something else, especially when I'm lately playing lots of RPG games, open world games. This is significant. Other thing that I will miss is the planar magnetic drivers. But again, I can buy it with open back, but it's going to be much more expensive. So overall, if I ask myself, well, I'm willing to give up on that? Well, the answer for me was yes. So overall, I'm going to get really headphones that are amazing if I'm going to decide to buy it, that are amazing for with, uh, you know, balanced sound and uh, very detailed sound, loud sound stage, and uh, with good imaging and also good build quality. It's very comfortable from what I've read. There's also, by the way, detachable cable as well, which is nice. And it has a neutral sound signature, but again, with some emphasis on bass as well. So it's not like total flat. And overall, I'm just going to experience something else. And this is, again, and it's going to be for the better, especially considering the games that I'm actually playing right now. I'm thinking I'm going to be much more immersive in games. Same goes, by the way, if I decide to connect it to my VR headset, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to benefit from that as well. Although most of the time, I'm going to be probably with a, a built in uh, headphones, but I'm going to try it in VR and see. Well, how good it is. I have the Quest 3. And by the way, this little advantage that I thought about that can be really nice if you buy um, uh, low impedance headphones because you can actually use it with a VR headset without, of course, needing something complex to connect it to an uh, external mobile amplifier of some sort. And that's it. So this is why I the Maxwell uh, is kind of on the side. And then, I'm of course, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the 900 Pro X, but it's very high on my list. Uh, so among the two top two, so most probably, but we'll see down the road. But these are the decisions why I decided eventually to drop the Maxwell, a close back and focus on open back in general, but precisely put the 900 Pro X at the top of my list. Thanks for watching.